Hey, it's Joe Glines from The Automator, and someone commented on one of the videos, they were trying to send keystrokes to launch Spotify, launching the run command, and, and I'm not knocking what they're doing, right? Because we've all been there, but we, we generally try not to send keystrokes. So um, I know I've shared this solution during a hero call a couple times in our live streams as well, but um, just want to demo it. Now, this is V1. I'll show you in V2 as well. Now, we're, we're going to call a function to keep it... Uh, more dynamic where it can be applied in other situations, right? So you you find the name of your app you want to run. We're gonna this is the function call run app is the function call. We're gonna run it on Spotify. When we run this once, and I can put a return here. I don't necessarily have to, but I'll put one there. Um, I have a hotkey and in, built into here to um, trigger it. It's gonna this is gonna execute the below function, so it's gonna jump down here, passing the word Spotify in quotes. When it comes in here, it creates a com object. And then we start looping over it, each one of the items. So there's a different, a bunch of different apps. And once the app name equals whatever you pass to it, that's what we're doing here. Then it's going to use a run wait to run that app. So that's what it does. I'm going to hit save. We launch it. Now I'm going to hit my hotkey. It does take a second to launch, but that's just, you know, how apps work. So bam, there goes Spotify, right? Um, and let's see, I think uh, Paint, I think Paint is an app. So save it, reload, launch, run, and now that opens Paint. Right now, what if you don't know the name? Now, of course, you could just kind of go figure it out by looking at the apps. However, let's have a little fun while we're still here in the V1 version. I'm a little more familiar with V1. Let's first create an object. So I'm going to store an object. I'm just going to create an object here. And then, so now that we're doing more than one thing, we need to add a paren here. And I'm going to move this line down one uh, because after this, I'm going to say now this is we're in the for loop. We're going over it. So I'm going to create a new, so let's call it my app. This is just going to be a variable colon equals. Actually, you know what? No, I'm, I'm putting in the object. I'm sorry. My bad. So that is um, OBJ. Um, and I think here we're going to use the parens. We'll give it the app name. So app dot name is going to equal, and we'll give it the path just for fun, right? So um, app dot path. Now we're creating this object, which is going to have all the stuff in it. And then after we're out of our for loop, so this is our for loop, we're doing it here to here. We don't want to do it every time because then we'll be showing it as it's building it. We're just going to dump it at the end. So I have a little function for peeking inside objects. And I can delete that stuff. This is going to do the object to string and take that and shove it into my output window. So let me relaunch this. Uh, actually, let me. Well, it's still going to launch. Let me. Let me. Let me redo this. I'm going to comment those out because right now I don't want to launch anything. Oh, this line doesn't. What's the problem? Oh, I forgot. Somehow I missed my equal sign there. Save. Reload. There we go. So <clears throat> apparently, I have 186 different apps and these, these are their app names. So I have an app name called auto hockey dash um, and that is the path to it. So this provides me with both. Of course, if you didn't want to do that, you could just, we could make this simpler. I could comment this out and just say my apps, oops, app dot name and let's put a line return I'm going to turn a new line. So it's just a habit. And then here, we would just, instead of doing that, we would put, because it, it's just going to be text now, I'm going to say my apps. So save, reload it, and run it. Because we don't really need the paths. We just need the names, right? So here's a nice, simple version of all the names of different apps that you can look at and say, oh, okay, I can launch all you would do. Is, and let's let's do it where we launch too. So let's launch um, yeah, WordPad. What a wonderful program, right? Um, so I'm going to copy this one, or I should say duplicate it, and put in a WordPad here, save it. Now I'm going to rerun it. Because there's no return in between here, it's going to run paint, and then it's going to move on to the next one. When that's done, actually, it might wait for paint to end because it's a runway. Let's see. Oh, I forgot to, duh. sorry, we don't need that. And we no longer need these because we have our list, right? So save, relaunch, and run. 
There we go. So that opened both WordPad and Paint. So that run wait, I thought it might wait for this to exit, but it didn't. So anyway, you get the idea. Now let's let's do this is Studio, the V1 version of Studio for editing and launching V1 scripts. I'm going to close it and you'll see here I have a so this is a version of Studio. It's still written in V1, but it can run and edit V2 codes without causing errors. So if you wanted this done in V2 instead, it's very, very similar. Oh, actually, I was playing with it here too. So um, we don't need that, all of that. So this is just a little more concise, but I'm going to, let me make sure so I'm going to re relaunch it. Now I launched it. And I didn't even have a hotkey. I just it just runs it directly. But that's launching it in V two. So, but it's basically the same thing. The the com object is a little different in the in the V one version. It's com object create. I think and this one's just com object. And yeah, that that gets you basically there. So here's a V one or a V two version. I'll put them both in one. I'll create like a gist because this to me isn't really worth the download. But I'll create a gist and link to it if you care to grab it without having to type it. I hope that helps. Uh, please like the video if you learned something. It really helps me out. We get a lot more views and a lot more um, subscribes. And subscribe if you're not a subscriber. It really helps. We're the largest auto hockey channel out there. We publish videos usually like three times a week. And we do great stuff. Check out our courses. And um, we got great auto hockey courses teaching you how to use and do things with auto hockey. They come with a double your money back guarantee. So whatever you pay for it, if you're not happy for it with it within the first 30 days, we'll double what you paid for it and give it back to you. Cheers.